Hello and welcome to the Nursing Research Learning Series. This learning series is created to support learners in all levels of nursing research at UTA. My name is Ray Jeffers and I'm here to discuss uh, a number of topics with you. Uh, the first talk topic we're going to discuss is what is PICO? The information contained in this video and others in this series are contained in this LibGuide at this address. It says it's for nursing 4325, but really is created for all levels of nursing research. So what is PICO? PICO is just a mnemonic. The P stands for patient population. The I stands for intervention, the C is the comparison, and the O is the outcome. So I've provided you with a number of examples for each type. So a patient population would be type 2 diabetics. Uh, an intervention that you might want to look into is exercise. And a potential comparator might be drug therapy. And something that you might want to look at as far as an outcome goes is blood glucose. So there are many PICO question types, and these are summarized for you in this chart. Um, if you look on the column over to your left, you'll notice the question types. And then along the, the top edge, you'll notice that um, your P, your I, your C, and your O appears there. So this is just to get you thinking about the structure of your question. Um, and then once you kind of figure out what kind of question you have, then you can go to the question structure. So what I mean by that is we have kind of a plug and play option when it comes to inserting your PICO elements into a sentence structure that will make sense to readers and make sense to you, the researcher, when you're going about your uh, research. So you'll notice that you have blanks here and you'll just insert your PICO elements into the blanks and that is true for each type. So here's an example of how this works. So for a therapy question, we've inserted the P, the I, the, C, the O, and then the C. So in high school children, what is the effect of a nurse-led presentation on bullying on a reduction in reported incidences of bullying compared with no intervention. So that is the therapy type question. Um, and you'll notice that the same thing is true for other types of questions. So again, you just plug in your PICO elements um, that you've identified for your question and you just insert them into the question structure. So there are a number of tips for UTA nursing research students that you should follow when you're trying to figure out what kind of PICO question you want to ask. So you want to choose a question that's very broad and this will become more apparent um, the reasons why later in this series. Um, the more specific you are, the less likely you are to find articles that meet you, the criteria of your grading rubric. What happens is there are so many um, required elements um, that must be contained in your article that you have to gather up as many articles as you possibly can um, in order to find the handful of articles you're going to need for your assignment. Um, when you're trying to write your PICO question, think of elements that nurses control, not doctors. Um, the reason is most of you will be in a database called CINAHL. CINAHL is the nursing uh, database that we have access to at UTA, and it stands for the Cumulative Index for Nursing and Allied Health Literature. So it's the largest repository uh, for nursing literature that we have access to at UTA. You also have to consider what disciplines your topic might include. So for many of you, your topic crosses mental health, which means you're going to need to look in a database other than CINAHL. So you'll need to go into databases um, for psychology. Um, and to find those databases, you can look through my other series of videos about where to search for databases.
So that is all for this topic. Um, thank you for tuning in. And the next topic we're going to discuss is using Pico to form a database search.